Elon Musk looks forward to changing the face of the world by means of technology. The tech billionaire launches its new Tesla Plaid, a car that is known to push all limits of physics. There are a lot of things you must need to know about this car in case you want to buy this one. Make sure to hang in there because we'll let you know about how this car beats up signs. Hey there, long time to see. Cause the wait, because this video could potentially meet you with the cars of your dream, the most amazing electric vehicle on the planet, Tesla Play. Should you get this car? Will this car become the most effective appreciating asset? Is this Tesla a better investment than usual stocks? And why it is backing headlines to beat signs? These are pretty much all the questions we are going to answer in this video. On that note, you need to hit the like button, subscribe button, turn on the post notification bell icon and leave an enthusiastic comment below. We'll look forward to having some great technical discussion down there. In 2016, a Forbes magazine released an article with the headline, Can a Tesla Model S really accelerate faster than gravity? Since then, Tesla has started to get new admirers each day. That was the very beginning of something new, something the world was not prepared for. Elon Musk, after the unveiling of Tesla Model S played, the most question he received was the outstanding speed the car has. How is that possible? Where is the physics behind it? Tesla, like any other car, is ultimately driven by friction, which is why this fact does not sound to be the truth. The sound of it was comparable to those little toy cars that you backwards then let go. Or imagine the car rushing through the car producing static electricity. This is what has been driving them. What is surprising is that how can we expect a business family car series to transform to become a multi-million dollar hypercar suddenly? Tesla Model S Plaid is the fastest Tesla car and one of the fastest cars, even beating the supercars with speed from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.1 seconds. The fastest car to date is the Ferrari SF90 Stradale, which can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour by beating Plaid by 0.1 seconds. But that's not the question here. Ferrari is born to do that, but not Tesla. Model Plaid is one of its kind. Musk had also claimed that the Model S Plaid involves launching on a super sticky drag strip surface. Blade's claim was tested and it was found out that Tesla is 0.1 second behind the quickest car, Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Earlier during its launch, Musk had called the Tesla Model S Blade the limit of physics engineering. Elon proudly represented Blade as the best electric car in the world and there is absolutely no debate about this either. The speed previously mentioned is the tested speed according to drivers and other users. The same might vary, but according to the books, Tesla Model S Blade has a remarkable horsepower at 1020 HP. That is why it can offer and fires up to 100 km per hour in just 1.99 seconds. During its Elon Musk claimed to have added the most technologically advanced features he could in the Tesla Model S Blade. Before that, let's see why Musk made this car this fast. When Musk was asked this question, he said, it's something that's quite important to the future of sustainable energy. We've got to show that an electric car is the best car, hands down. Model S Plaid was Elon Musk's trump car to show the world that it is time when people switch to EVs from their regular cars and he brought down the best. 2022 Tesla Model S Plaid is a robot car. The half gross race sedan's acceleration outpaces human reaction time and humbles every other car on the road. Testers and users of this car have given out mind-blowing reviews about it. Entering the AR opens up a plethora of new dimensions, a new definition of time and space. Here rain, 120 miles per hour is only 60 miles per hour. Plus, the human-machine interface is practically attached to your nervous system. At first glance, the new Tesla Model S Plaid does not look different from the original Model S that it launched back in 2012. However, Musk has flooded that rather casual car with a plethora of design and technical elements, making it the coolest possible car on the planet. Apart from being the fastest production car ever made, the car features a certain super cool feature that makes this car way different from the other Tesla. Let's first talk about the drag strip mod in the car. This mod helps the car produce maximum acceleration for racing and demonstration. Using the drag strip mod, the Model S plate optimizes the temperature of the electric car motors and battery pack. This model preconditions the battery and drive unit to deal with operating temperatures for timed acceleration. The Model X can stay in drag strip mod for 3 hours. This mod of course consumes more energy to keep the battery within an optimal temperature range. The second mod which adds the actual power to the car is the Cheetah Science mod. 
This mod lowers the front end of the car by 2 inches, allowing it to maintain its grip during the launch. The Cheetah Stance mod takes 8 to 10 seconds to complete, with both the mods and numbers right. The Tesla Model S Blade is impossible to beat. How do you prepare everything before a race? Once all the cars are properly staged, you need to hit the button. And two seconds later, the light on the Tesla will go green. Make sure to recall that the Cheetah mod takes 8 to 10 seconds to activate. So in case you're in a race, don't forget to let the referee know that you will need some extra time when they turn the lights green. Well, there is another way. All NHRS sanctioned drag strips have strict rules and safety regulations based on the performance of the car, but Tesla Model S Blade does not come with a stock of roll cage or parachute. Drydle and shielding, and that's why Tesla drivers will not have a fire suit or that special license. So you can simply inform the safe marshal of Tesla that they will be disqualified in case they want to race. The driving experience with this car is simply phenomenal. You won't find such a car to drive. Elon Musk himself compares this car with a spaceship, especially because the yoke is normally found in an aircraft. Model S Blade introduces a new steering wheel with a yoke design, something similar to that of Formula 1 cars. The reason is to enhance visibility and suit the autopilot operation when the steering is really required. Once the car accelerates and you eventually release the brake pedal, the immediate thing is that you will experience is the great G-Force. Drivers experience 1.00 G in longitudinal acceleration, in other words, the G-Force forces their head to push back out and doors into the seat back in that instant as if it were some if one were lying on his back. Imagine your situation when you have been completely stuck to the car seat and only after 0.15 seconds did the car travel one foot and it's already going 6 miles per hour, where the G4 jumps a little over 1.23. Considering the length of the Tesla car and the G4 speed, the numbers are incredible. The Tesla plate is 197.7 inches. By the time the car's rear bumper is where the front bumper began, it's already traveling 24.8 miles per hour at 1.24 G. With another 5 feet, when the car is at 28.4 miles per hour, the tires really dig in and peak up a G-force of 1.30, and that's the heights. As a driver, you will not feel the force come down to 1.20 until the speed is at 50.4 miles per hour. In other words, the force you're stuck on the seat with force over 1.2 times your body weight. With the new year, Tesla decided to add another feature to its new play, a new mod, Track Mod. This mod seems to be similar to the feature in the Model 3 performance. Track Mod allows all users to optimize their driving dynamics by providing them with the controls over their thermals, drive system, and suspension. The only goals were to achieve the quickest lap time for a production electric vehicle at Germany's Nürburgring. This mod allows stability control, handling balance, and regenerative braking to give cars, drivers, more authority over vehicle control at the race track. With track mod, Plate can now exercise complete control on its tri-motor program and more than 1000 horsepower on tap. Track driving generates a massive amount of heat in the battery, motors and brakes of the Tesla. In order to maintain its stability, the track endurance needs to be managed to control the heat and keep the commands as cool as possible. Track mod drops the temperature of the battery pack and motors to create a significant amount of chilled thermal mass. When track driving starts and heats begin to be generated, the shred coolant loops between the battery and motors, keeping the entire system cooler for longer. This system also increases regenerative braking power by providing three major benefits. During deceleration, more energy is recaptured and loads on friction brakes are reduced greatly, providing better thermal management. Furthermore, this helps with better modulation for the driver and controllability with a single pedal. Let's get the motors to do the talking now. Tesla employs its first ever tri-motor arrangement to generate that much power. One electric motor up front and two in the rear. These are not the same electric motors that powered the original Model S, but redesigned versions of the Model 3's next generation components. The battery pack is 4 kilowatt hours smaller than the previous generation, but that shouldn't deter potential buyers. Thermodynamic management was Tesla's main focus. While developing the Taycan, Porsche took a close look at the Model S and Tesla reciprocated by doing this name while developing the plate. Its power supply is no longer reliant on how much charge is left, thanks to its improved thermal management technology. The rear motor's assembly is the most significant upgrade 
of the car. The Model S delivers full-time all-wheel drive regardless of the version you choose, with an all-electric motor dedicated to each of the front and rear axles. The various variants acceleration varies from excellent to fierce. We haven't yet tried the Model S long range or played, but our 2020 Model S test vehicle cloaked in a 2.4 seconds from 0 to 60 miles per hour and provided hours of enjoyment thanks to its rapid power delivery. The rear motor consists of two souped up Model 3 drive units placed back to back, housed symmetrically inside a precision aluminum subframe. These rear motors are coupled directly to each wheel with a single speed transmission. Tesla, oddly enough, did not duplicate Porsche's two speed transmission. It can cruise at autobahn speeds without the motors running at a staggering 20,000 RPM thanks to the German gearbox. Tesla's answer remains a single speed transmission. To better cope with the high RPMs, the electric motors rotors can use carbon fiber sleeves instead of steel ones. The blade delivers an almost instantaneous shove, thus it works perfectly. In the case of Tesla electric vehicles, the car needs only one gear because the motor RPM is at a higher angle than internal combustion engines. Therefore, with one great engine it can produce stronger torque at low RPMs. Tesla's gear ratio stands at 7.5 to 1, which means that the tires will complete one full rotation for every seven and a half turn of the rotors. The Tesla motor is a super high red line and an extremely flat power curve that helps to achieve the car's top speed at 200 miles per hour, where the motor rate lines at approximately 24,000 RPM. To bring that kind of power, Tesla had to incorporate exotic materials and novel engineering methods, neodymium magnets. These are highly energetic magnets that act as pulsing stars. One of the most difficult things to achieve in a fast-moving EV is a super-fast spinning motor without getting it overheated. To avoid this, Tesla has induced three permanent motors with a carbon fiber sleeved rudder instead of a traditional metal sleeved rudder. The carbon fiber sleeves restrain the copper rotor from expanding due to radial acceleration, creating a stronger electromagnetic field, thereby providing a P horsepower at 80 miles per hour all the way up 200 miles per hour. Though to keep things stable, the system is limiting the top speed 263 mph or 263 km per hour. About its speed, apparently the car is designed to achieve double century speed as well, but for that hardware, upgrades will be necessary. The motors and engine of the Model S plate stole the show, and Elon Musk did not get to say a whole lot about the battery they have been using for this one. It wouldn't be surprising if Musk's battery choice was anything less than perfect after launching the supercar. Tesla Model S plate might be signing a high power cell compared to the P100D due to the high power. Given the power need, the discharging rate can be estimated to be at 7.5C. Indeed, that's pretty high, but that will be the minimum in order to power such powerful engines, as it will provide a 400 mile range with an estimated 100 kilowatt hour usable energy. Chances are played will be using a battery similar to Model 3 directly glued to the cooling tubes. Because P100 DLs can be glued to the cooling tubes, the Model 3 Ls with the new gluing technique will be providing two times heat transfer from the pack. During acceleration and charging, the results of the amount of heat are pretty high. That's why we estimate the new heat pump to have twice the heat removal capacity of the old P100 D. As per the picture provided by Tesla, the condenser will not be a glycol heat exchanger like the Model 3s. The condenser in the Model S plate will be a direct refrigerant to air heat exchanger at the front of the car in order to serve more effective for rejecting high heat loads. That was about the super internal process, what is the interior of the fastest production car? When it comes to the range, Tesla is untouchable, when it comes to the car building, Tesla's approach is always out of the box. It has struggled with material quality as basic as panel alignment. Tesla has the skateboard design in the car which provides a lot of room. There are three interior options, black, white or black and cream. All provide legroom up the front of 42.4 inches while the rear only offers 35.5 inches. The headroom is at 39.7 inches in the front and 38.1 inches in the rear. Another great thing about the Tesla is that they do not struggle with the problem of cargo capacity. Tesla provides a trunk capacity of 25 cubes, which can be increased by folding the rear seats forward. Behind the hook, there is no ICE engine, so you can get a 3.1 cube front completely to keep a soft back or two best for weekly trips. No doubt that Tesla has been forcing the legacy manufacturers to up their game. 
with every launch, Musk is leveling up the intensity of the EV with regards to making it the world leader. If you wish to buy a Tesla, Model S plate could be the one. What do you think about it? Leave a comment below, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications to never miss out on any one.